Hey, being a black folks, and like I told people, they're going to crap because we found the meatball, folks. Here it comes up, and we're in Hawaii, and you'll see it there. And it's not no goddamn, or if anything, it is an energy orb of a huge planet. Okay, because you can see it right there, and we're going to be able. It's going to come down even farther than that. Okay, and we'll show you the reflection that it puts out a rainbow that it pretty much puts out here. You can, you should be able to see it there. And as I move left, and then I will minus out the screen a little bit so that I get, I just want to make sure, I will also get this on full screen. I think I can give you all kinds of time to get this on full screen and so forth. And I'll move to the right, and you will see, see these rays here, okay? Those are rainbowish kind of like colorization. That's coming through our stratosphere from this humongous, basically this should be the meatball. When they get on, like I say, they put stuff in Hollywood movies so that people it doesn't ever get forgotten. Because people will talk to astronomers or scientists and get something, and they'll like, we got, well, we got to put it in a movie. So the idea that people it'll, it'll never get washed away, that uh, well, the overlords won't hide it out. Uh, they got off the plane, and it's a comedy. I think it's called uh, Space Cowboys, and they talk about the meatball. Well, we don't talk about that. Is what the comment was. I, I might be wrong on the movie. If not, that movie's getting publication or like. Uh, help a little bit I guess but the meatball folks it's there it exists and I should be able to just on the player here pull it down and be able to uh, get it to play and as I go down I'll show you that that guy okay, didn't mess with nothing and here is the colorization rainbow that will come into effect it's an effect uh, rainbow effect it'll come all the way across here and this is in the darkness folks because at the time it's 18 something Hawaii standard time okay that's in the evening okay so this is what has always been known to be at our back door in the dark, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And no, it's not the sun rising over there like we've always been showing you in the past. It's Proxima Centauri, Rigel Cantaris B, Rigel Cantaris A, and other stuff in the supergiants, okay? But this is at our back door, uh, Uranus, okay? Neptune, Pluto, in the dark. There are suns way up behind that has been discovered. If you go to Worldwide Telescope and you go looking up at Neptune, Uranus, and I think uh, Neptune or Uranus is the one of the farthest. I know Neptune's way out, okay? But there has been suns up behind Neptune caught when Neptune got in a certain position that they have it on when you go to Worldwide Telescope and look. It's animation in a sense, but it's also satellite shots that you will see some suns way up there. Okay, so I'm going to back this just a little bit right there. Okay, you see the glow come in. Okay, you see that glow come in? Now I'm going to go to full screen in a minute so you don't miss this, but it, it rises and sets at that time when you see on the clock. You see that? There it is. Okay? The meatball exists, ladies and gentlemen. Humongous in outer space. Okay? It's not a flare. NASA's going to have to start waking up to this inner flare is a bunch of BS. If so, then what happened? Did Jupiter flare? What flared, ladies and gentlemen? What gave us a camera flare on Earth on a goddamn webcam? Okay, and then you get a signature down here also, like what we get from more than likely Rigel Cantaris or Centauri uh, rising and so forth, or the same object and basically getting a 3D image. But that's what we get in space is we get a 3D image. It's not an inner, it's not an inner camera flare because we're getting it right down here on Earth on a goddamn webcam. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are basically a solar that is not. If it is a telescope, it's wide open. Okay, and you get to see that object right there. Now I'm going to go to full screen real fast so that you idea that you'll see it when it comes up and plays. So I'll hit this to full screen and hopefully you'll see it. If not, when you see this rainbow, you know it's up there and you go up there and look for it. Okay. So I'm going to hit this to full screen and there you go. It's it's there. Okay. So watch for it in the video. It's going to pop up, folks. The meatball, ladies and gentlemen. More than likely, back door. Cause look at the clock. Okay. You see the clock? That's our back door in the dark on Earth, okay? It's just starting to get dark. It should be getting dark over there, okay? And it's not the sun rising at 1851-56 Hawaii Standard Time, okay? Absolutely not, okay? So, we back up the video, and here we go playing, and you'll see all our dark constellations. Obviously, I've been showing you all those webcams in Hawaii, okay? There they all are, and then they are all they disappear, okay? I'll let it play. We'll see what we get for video time. And there she goes, the meatball. The meatball. You imagine what's scaring the shit out of people over there? Now that, I'm going to start it back real fast because you'll get to see it because it's going to get boring because there's not going to be really much more happening than what we normally see. 
Now there's all those constellations, basically black, that we're getting from the supergiants or whatever, or from the back door. They're planets in space, ladies and gentlemen. They're huge. They're way bigger than Earth, okay? They're way the hell out. Everything's safe as hell. Even the meatball is humongous and way the flip out. There it comes in at the top. You can't miss it. I showed you it earlier, and there it is, and you see the ray that comes off of it. That it gives us like a rainbow ray. And I'm going back again because this is just awesome because you're going to watch very top of the screen right now. It's going to come in at 18, whatever the flick it is. There it is. Famo. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. God saying hello or something saying hello because there is humongous crap out there way the hell bigger than Earth, way the hell bigger than Jupiter, way the hell the bigger than everything. And they're all freaking, the shit's way the hell out there. We showed it to you on and then they started pulling HI down so we couldn't show it to you no more. Well, screw it, NASA. We can see it and thank you to the French and Canadian uh, webcam action up there and everything like that and all the other ones that are up there because here it comes. I'm going to show it to you again. Bammo. It's going to come in. Bammo. There's the big old meatball, ladies and gentlemen. And as you see those sun rays go up, it's not a camera flare. And you can see that daggone thing way at the top of the screen as I showed you when I first started introducing the movie. And here it comes again. All those dark planets go away. They're basically shadow black light we're getting during the daytime. And here comes the meatball. Whammo. Right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll back it up one more time so you see without my cursor there. And then I'm going to let it play. Actually, I'll just let it play through this one. You're going to see it again. Here comes the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. And the meatball doesn't exist, does it, NASA? Lion sacks of crap. So that's the rise and set time of it, ladies and gentlemen, because basically, as you can see, that it set there. So that lowest period of time right there, you keep watching these cameras, or, the, or do you watch anything on Fireball or anything like that, you watch, check out what Hawaii time would be at 18 when this comes and sets. And I'm, I'm going to try to find out whatever planet you need to research all your astronomy stuff and find out that's the meatball and find out whatever they're telling us that sets at 18 at that Hawaii Standard Time. Because that's Hawaii Standard Time, it's not UTC. Now, let's let it play through this time. And then i got to check the recording. And I'm going to find out what... And basically, when you go to, I believe, even Worldwide Telescope, or I've seen... Uh, I'll be able to research my photos that I snapped from a guy that did a trajectory on one of the comets a long time ago. And he was able to show that the meatball comes into our back door. And it's going to come very close to Earth. We are very safe. It's a long ways out. Okay. Uh, what planets might be out of order that it would hit this time when it gets the closest that it will ever get to us again? Within the next 3,700 years, I think, or something like that? We will see. Okay. But that was the meatball. And I'm letting it play all the way out here so that if you see anything else... And as you can realize, I don't believe it. Now, that was an, I think, airplane there, low left, okay, a minute ago. So you can back up a little bit. And then you'll realize all that flashing stuff I've showed you in the past is very much real. Like that one right there is very damn real. Now, that could have been an airplane on that one there, though, because it was with an hour, I think, that that flew with that. That one was an airplane. I think both of those were an airplane. That's an airplane there, I think, coming in on that one there. Yeah, that's an airplane coming in. Real low right here. Right there, that's an airplane, okay. And the other ones that are slow like that are airplanes too. But the flashes when I've showed you in the past that are going to that like those flashes up there, those are not damn satellites. Those are asteroids and belts coming around. So here's some more space ass action for you folks. Those big flashes that you see coming across the lower sky and so forth and so on. And then there's some planets and suns and stuff that are coming over the horizon. So Hawaii is getting some beautiful action over there right now, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope that we didn't run out of time on the video. Let me check the video time on the video. So I want you to check out what Cassini saw a long time ago, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I made that one video that one night, and I showed a long time ago. Most of the regulars will see with the idea that they know I'm telling the truth, that the idea that I made a, a video on the 24th. I can't remember if it was uh, December. And then on the 25th or 26th, New York Times ran this on, and they didn't talk too much about Cassini, I don't think. But you can go to this website right there that I've got. That's a real website. And check. you can go to that website right there. Okay, and that is, I got to make sure I don't, I'm not going to take time to edit the sound and everything like that. I just want to get this out. And I apologize about the mic in the past. They've messed with it and I've retuned it. I try to retune it as good as I can every time. Uh, the mic works damn good. It's Kerasoft and, and the information that we're sharing. So we got this image and they showed it in the New York Times, but they didn't give you this here. Okay, well they can't. They can't give you that live rotational that we got from Cassini looking at this, okay? 
I want to thank uh, everybody that does the work at NASA and JPL University. When I bust NASA's balls, I am busting power and control at NASA, not busting the scientists' balls, okay? Some, if they want to stick with this inner flare thing, inner camera flare, or talkie, just proved it more wrong, okay? So what's neat is there is a... Uh, I'm trying to a dyno. I'm trying to think of the electrical term for a constant making electrical, and it's uh, oh, because I'm, I'm an electrician, I'm supposed to know the name. So it's, it kind of rhymes with dyno. It's a uh, well. Anyway, I'll think about it, and basically, it'll pop and pop into people's heads. They idiot, they can't remember. I'm an electrician, but folks, certified general asshole electrician, and uh. I've even got an invention for a certain part of the United States that I've come up with with water flow. That basically, they're, you're going to see something that in the future that they're going to make one out in California too. That's a little heads up there. I don't give a rat's ass if I'm blowing somebody in the ass and out or not. Uh, it's uh, basically a term for a constantly making energy machine. Okay, and I'm just brain locked on the name of it right now. But you see this here, and I'll blow this up to 400%, and it's basically a hexagon. Okay. I might be saying it wrong on hexagon. I didn't read the article, but it's got six sides, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What is unusual when people talk about this? They will say that the idea that it's moving on the inside. It's not. The outside core of Saturn is, as you see, it moving around. Now, is it just weather and stuff in their atmosphere that's got locked in their atmosphere? Who knows? And I say, as I always said that, but you can still see that the idea of the hex. I think I'm saying hexagon, right? Is that six? I'm trying to remember. Hexagon, octagon. Okay. Uh, just I throw this data and stuff in the videos out real fast, folks, so that everybody gets a deal. A pick on everything. Let me see if I can stop and can save some time and zoom in on this more. So until we get to Saturn and take a look humanly, okay. Besides these, uh, uh, you know, and I love probes. So I don't want to see anybody dying and looking up and trying to get up into space and look at stuff. So. I'm, I'll reduce down there a little bit, but that's the object, and it rotates around the, the six-sided object, which I believe is hexagon. I'll know here when I pop out. I basically gonna, it's going to blur, I think, and everything like this. I'm trying to move it around and let you see it in large. There you go. Okay. So all that material down there, it's a planet that basically has almost like it seems to be embedded planets on it, or some kind of rotations and so forth and so on. But it's very unusual six-sided. It's always had everybody. Sh Shit and bricks. Okay, it's just astonished scientists for a long, long time. Ever since it, I think this was '79 or something like that. I'll take a look. But go to the website and check that out. I think I'm running low on time here now. But we found the meatball for you that it really exists. Okay, see that? So that's what this gave it back. And uh, I can blow up again to 150, I think, and we'll show and share some of the info on this. But it's really astounding. And then I'm going to show you our object that's coming by too. I got to hurry up and get to that. Let me let me get to that. Okay, so the, one of our objects coming by close to Earth, folks, is pretty large. Okay, it's it's some kilometer size wise. Okay, and that's how fast it's going. Okay, that's how fast an hour miles per hour it's going to be moving by in outer space. So we're going to get some high winds, folks. So folks, I have friends out in Wyoming and and Montana and Idaho and stuff like that, Western United States. We're going to get high winds. We get the highest solar winds from these objects. So go back and watch my last video to see, because you should be able to pick out um, what I had on the screen. It's the last item on the list. And it's February, I think, something. And it's the last item on RSOE, if you know where that is. So no matter what, that object is going to be the fastest goddamn thing that's going to be coming by us in a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, because this speed is humongous. 22.82 miles per second. That's it. 1,001, 22 miles. Almost 23 miles, okay? 82,163 miles an hour that object's going to be coming by. So go to my last video, watch it, and then find out about which one it is and see how fast it is. And it's in February, folks. RSOE and also all the NASA stuff, okay? So I'm going to basically take you now to let you see that I was showing a lot of this video last time. So we'll plop to this one. That's the same one. Let me get to... This one, and this is the one we could watch a little bit more of all the solar flare action and the sun working in the supergiants. Working its ass off, folks. Just like uh, 
Roxanne, turn on the. If I can twist off a 